Good morning guys. As you can see, it stopped snowing. The storm is finally over. And today I have to go meet with some prospective student from Miami. Um, I can't believe he's here in Syracuse um, when he should be in Miami for spring break. But anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna go meet him. I'm gonna show him around the dorms. Um, we're gonna get something to eat and yeah um, it's so rare that someone from down there wants to come over here but it's a pretty good school so it's no surprise okay so just finished off uh, showing Emilio around campus um, really nice kid you know gotta do it for the kids sometimes now Heading over to Goldstein with uh, Aaron. We're gonna go eat, have some breakfast, and as always, hit the gym. Okay, so we just finished having breakfast, finishing up with a protein shake. So I'm heading to the gym now. I'm hitting a hypertrophy pull day. Okay hey guys, I'm here at Walmart. Um, came here to buy some stuff to cook because everything that they sell at Shine is unhealthy. So I'm gonna cook some pasta with chicken breast. Really healthy meal for tonight. And I'm also gonna cook for this kitty wings. For these kids. Kids? Yeah. Let's make us children. 45-year-old man. <laughs> guys it's Monday March 20th and it's the first day of spring and it's also my third week in my cut week two is over so there's a quick physic update before I start my day if the sky is pink and white if the ground is black and yellow it's the same way you show me Down my head don't close my eyes halfway on Sorry guys, so I just got done with classes. Um, I haven't vlogged all morning, but I'm here having lunch. So for lunch, I'm having 9.4 ounces of chicken with 130 grams of rice, white rice. Here I also got a salad, um, just greens, lettuce, and cucumber. I don't really count the macros on this because this barely has any carbs. I put on two servings of fat-free Italian dressing. Okay, so the total macros for this meal is roughly um, 72 grams of protein, um, 50 grams of carbs, and, and 2 grams of fat. So yeah, it's going to be my lunch. From here, I'm going to head on to the gym, and I'll get some footage there. Okay guys, so that um, just finished that low-carb meal for lunch, and I realized I didn't have enough carbs for the entire day, so I served myself two servings of Cinnamon Toast Crunch with some skim milk and this is how I weigh it. Um, I just grabbed two bowls, put it in grams and each, each serving is 31 grams, so 62 grams for one serving. And each serving has about 25 grams of carbs, so total it's about 50 grams of carbs. Plus the milk, a cup of milk has about 8 grams of carbs, so that's like 58 grams of carbs that I'm going to be eating here. And that's gonna be enough to fill me up till dinner. Yeah. Alright, guys. Just get ready for the gym. Show me love. Glory from above. Good glory, dear. It's all down here. Okay, so we have a we have a really packed gym today, so it's, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can. 
Um, it's going to be a little hard to get a uh, fast workout in, but I'm going to get it. So I'm going to make this into a commentary, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another commentary. Um, here I am doing a heavy push day, um, meaning higher weight, less reps, just to focus on strength gain today. Um, I'm going to be keeping it at a rep range of 3 to 5 reps. If I want to get more volume in, I might hit 8 to 10 reps. But the main goal here is to gain strength and get used to heavier weight. Um, so I am starting with a warm-up of just a bar. And then I move on to 135 pound warm-up. Um, this is just so I can get the blood flowing, get that muscle mobility going before I get right into my working set. So first workout will be a flat bench press. As you saw here and um, the gym is really packed today I, I don't know why it was so packed I guess everybody just came back from spring break hey man how many sets do you have here um, oh shit I didn't notice it was you how's it going man oh never mind um, so <laughs> getting back into it um, my first working set is 205 pounds um, I believe I go for five reps here I'm making sure my posture is correct my scapula is is kept contracted and my elbows come down at a at an angle not parallel to my shoulder because that could cause a shoulder injury if not done properly um, which is a common mistake with a lot of people that are just beginning to work out they flare out their elbows when they're bench pressing just to get um, easier push when they're lifting heavy weight and they usually get shoulder discomfort and they think it's just the fact that the exercise is bad for them but make sure to always keep the right posture right form and you'll be fine completely fine then i moved on to um a set of 215 pounds um for three reps finished it off for three more sets of that and then moved on to my mil shoulder military press um here i also started with a warm-up with just a bar and then my first working set i started with um this is 125 pounds, 35 on each side, and a 5 on each side. Um, here I go for a 5 rep range. Um, make sure to always keep that 85 to 90 percent rep power for every set that you do. Um, so what does that mean? That means that um, don't use all the fuel you have in your tank. Make sure you have at least one or one and a half reps left to do, but just rack the weight there. Um, make sure you're, ke you're keeping that 85 to 90% um, rep power each rep and um, you're saving that energy for the next set that you do for that exercise. So third compound movement that we go on to is um, incline dumbbell press. Um, here I do five sets of 80 pounds for three reps each, three to five rep range. Um, I think I got five reps here. And then after my three main compound movements, which were flat bench press, um, shoulder military press, and incline dumbbell press, um, I move on to three isolated movements. Um, my first one is a superset. And superset means that you do one exercise with a short rest time before you go on to the next exercise in the same set. So this superset will be um, standing skull crushes with this, um, I believe it's a 50 pound uh, barbell. And I'm gonna superset that with lateral races um, with 15 pounds, just so I can get um, that full contraction and um, high amount of reps. Oh, actually this is 20 pounds. I think I was feeling uh, bloated this day and I felt I had a lot of energy and strength so I went for 20 pounds so the reason I do supersets and the reason why I love them so much is that with a superset you're able to hit two body muscles at the same uh, at a quicker amount of time so I think I was crunched on time here so first workout was a superset first ISO movement was a superset second ISO movement here I'm also doing another superset of um, tricep cable pull downs and I'm gonna superset it with cable face pulls um, so here make sure to keep your elbows locked beside your hip uh, and just focus on that tricep contraction don't use your back your lats or your shoulders to bring down the cables um, make sure you just you just keep your elbows locked 
beside your hip at all times. I really recommend incorporating face pulls into your workout when working out your chest because when working out your chest, um, your body turns tends to scratch forward due to so much um, tension in your chest muscle. Um, so this, when, when you work out the opposite side, which are the rear delts, um, it would tend to neutralize that and pull your shoulders back um, to a neutral stance. Uh, so my last ISO movement here, I am doing my last workout of um, isolated cable, cable chest flies. Uh, notice how I come back slowly and come forward very, very slowly. I think I'm doing only um, 20 pounds on the on each side of the uh, the machine. Make sure to do lightweight, but keep your form at all times. Feel that chest contraction because that's what's going to matter, and that's what's going to give you that chest volume. So thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for all the support. Make sure to like this video, share on your social media, and comment if you have any questions. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and I'll see you next video. We started off young, and I don't regret it, but I regret the times I acted like an idiot. Not all of them. Cause they helped me learn You got me in a ring of fire and I'm down to burn Damn, we used to be so innocent But now I look at you and I think about